It's me, PP. Welcome to my channel and thank you very much for joining me today. I wanted to show you something very exciting. I bought my very first ring planner, which is this Filofax Molding Ochre in the size personal. And thanks to my dearest friend, Ginny Blume, who told me that someone wanted to sell this I had the opportunity to buy it for a very reasonable price and when it arrived I was instantly in love because the patina is just gorgeous. It has got a very beautiful honey golden brownish color and it's in a very very good condition although it must be at least 20 years old as far as I could see from the inserts that have been inside. But it's in a really good condition and the patina is just beautiful. And so I decided to use it as my wallet next year. And for December I ordered a Christmas insert by Paper Test Design, which I wanted to show you as well. Which was a free, no not a free, it was a printable download. So I created a little setup with some dashboards and a little bit of a decoration and um, put this insert inside, which was not so easy because I had to go to copy shop as I don't have a color printer. And there have been some issues with the file and the print, but in the end, I'm very happy with it. And now I want to show you the finished result. So I also made some dashboards using some paper I already had. I didn't buy some new papers um, for it. I just wanted to use whatever I had already. So you can see me going through all my papers and deciding which ones to use in this little time lapse which follows now. on my desk again I am ready to show you what's inside so let's see um, yeah here on the left as I said I will use this as my wallet so I will put the coins into this zipper but I won't put all my cards in on the front cover I've got a lot of zip folders in the back for my cards 
so that's why I decided to decorate this cover a little bit. For example, I put in here some tea bags, some rescue tea bags. This one is an orange, orange and cinnamon tea, which is really tasty. And this one is also very tasty. It's an apple and cinnamon one. So they are both really good. And here I have just some paper to protect the rings. And yeah, this is a sticker by Being Fay, which I really like. And also I think it matches this paper quite well. And here's the fly leaf. This one has already um, been inside. This is my first dashboard. And then I also printed on vellum some stems, which are stems by Marky stems. They are some of my favorite Christmas stems. And yeah, so this is a stamp on printed on vellum with a Stazon ink pad. And here the Christmas insert by Paper Test Design starts. And it's so, so cute. I love the illustrations. So it starts with this spread. And at first I thought this would be the weekly spread and the designer of the insert told me, no, this is supposed to be the monthly overview for December. It's undated, so you can use it um, every year again. And I opted for the Monday start version, but something was wrong with the file. So the, the copy shop printed the Sunday start version, but it's fine. It's not a problem at all. Mm. So as there were no weekly spreads in here, I made some myself. So I made these weekly pages by myself. Unfortunately, I couldn't remove this washi tape, which I don't like that much, but I can't remove it, so it's fine. And then I put on these stickers, which are all by the brand New Lifestyle. And they are in a style of an advent calendar, so you can put one on every day. And I plan to do this for all the days of December and keep it very simple. Mm, I just drew some lines and that's it. But I have to put on or decorate these pages during the December and then I made this today marker um, using some paper pads I had. I misplunged here, but it's fine. <laughs> I bought a punch, um, this one for the ring planner pages. And I had to get used to it because you can adjust it here to pocket mini and personal size, but you also have to adjust it here and on both sides. If you miss one side, it also punches um, the holes on the wrong positions. So I had to get used to it a bit. Now I did, hopefully, and yeah, hopefully, I will get it right in future. So then I think here the insert by paper test design goes on. <clears throat> exactly. These are my pages I did myself and here the, the insert goes on. And here this section is about the Christmas budget and you have got a lot of space for your Christmas budget and Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I never buy a lot of things on Black Friday. I'm not sure what to do with this section, but maybe I will use it for some other purpose. And now the Christmas menu starts the preparation for it. So you can write your Christmas menu down and also the grocery list and you have got some space for recipes 
these tiny illustrations are very cute and here is another stamp I put in from Marky Stamps and this section is about the gift planning so stocking stuffers um, if you have got children for example gift trackers and letters to Santa for your own wishes for example it's also pretty and here are a bunch of lists I think this is my favorite holiday bucket list which I really do every year again although I always write the same things but I do it every year and here is a winter bucket list with um, build a snowman, go to a Christmas fair, build a gingerbread house, um, pyjama day, yeah, watch Christmas movies. I'm sure I will do this, yeah. And a very cute advent calendar and titles for a movie marathon. Yeah, I'm sure this will happen over Christmas. Christmas playlists and crafts and decoration, indoor and outdoor. So I decorate my home a lot every year <laughs> and also my balcony. So I'm sure I will use this one a lot. Then holiday activities and Christmas card mailing is also very handy to have it every year and to come back to it every year and then party guest lists this year we will be on christmas eve with my family at my brother's house and i'm very excited for it i think it will be very very lovely um, to see everybody and to spend a lovely evening together and some note pages yeah, then I made some more dashboards. Uh, I still have to fill in these sections, which will be finance trackers. Um, here I put some, just some note pages and some to-do lists and maybe some addresses. Yeah, we will see. I just made some dashboards just in case. And then here is the card section for all my cards, my banking card and so on. This one is a little bit different. This one opens from the top and these open from the side. And yeah, that's it. Here I used some sticker by Album Handmade Love, which I recently got. So I am very excited to, to use this as my planner on the go and my wallet next year or for December already. And thanks again to Ginny who gave me the opportunity to buy this. And I hope everyone will have a lovely holiday season and I try to upload another video soon on my Two planners by Sterling Inc., which I already got yesterday, but I didn't unbox them yet. So stay tuned for that. And bye, everyone.